Yo, what's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, Curry Babylon the deck. <laughs> Who would have expected that we would get this support years ago, right? But yeah, let's take a look. The deck is pretty straightforward. Um, I think the power card of the deck is the spell. Um, uh, Twilight, right? It's, um, uh, even though it's not searchable, I mean, you could play stuff like Left Arm Offering, but... Um, um, that depends, but um, I mean, f it's not searchable, so let's uh, keep that in mind. The first uh, thing, though, is that you have the capability to use the spell your Twilight if your only monster you're controlling is a level 5 monster. I have a couple of those. The new Curry Babylon is there, uh, Lynx Lair is there, there is the new Guilty, I believe the name is also, level 5, uh, which is fantastic, going second, by the way, also. So you have, you have a couple of options, uh, other stuff like Cyber Dragon, you know, those standard things I want to try out more, also an option. And that spell, the Twilight State, that again, tribute that level 5, and so you can special summon all of your 5 curry, you know, like curry, you know, <laughs> I don't know the correct names, but all of the Karibos from the deck, right, including the regular Karibo. Um, so basically five monsters. The thing is, is, is um, what are you going to do with those five monsters? You could go for like maybe one or two rank one exceeds. seats. That, that's decent, especially if you're going for the Liralisk one, you know, when your opponent like special summons something, bounce it back to the hand, that's okay. But it's quite of a weak monster unless of course you're, <laughs> you know, using all five cards slash materials. But at the same time, maybe you could use like or go for some link upgrades, a uh, four material Appaloosa, maybe um, eventually rank upgrade to Access Code Talker. That helps if you go second. Um, maybe the new Link Five. That's an option. But the problem is that the Link Five, it's so easy to you know that to get rid of to to you know like well not really destroy it, but get rid of uh, get rid of it in general. Stuff like Unicorn, for example, or everything that targets right. So the thing here is though is that okay the the curry babylon again has the quick effect you do well either during your main phase or, or battle phase you can um tribute itself get it back to the hand to special summon all the, the five different curry bows right back to the field uh, no damage because of dark ruler no more i think it's a staple in this deck you know those power cards that can basically fit in into every deck because I'm honest, this is not, you know, the top tier deck, the Karibo deck, not really the top tier deck. So the generic stuff like Lightning Storm evenly matched, especially Dark Ruler Droplet maybe, are all cards that are definitely welcome. Uh, the Lerusk again has the capability to every time if your opponent special summons a monster, just bounce it back. Again, by detaching, but uh, at this advantage, its attack is quite low. Um, this is a new one, I guess, a new level 5 as well. Guilty, I believe the name is. One of the new ones, right? Uh, going second, the card is fantastic. It might actually be a semi-staple for competitive play. Uh, it feels quite similar to Pankratops, if that makes sense. Well, then again, Guilty is using up your normal summon, so that's crucial, I guess. But, I mean, it, it could force out your opponent's negation as well, like popping a big monster. Plus, it could search out some gimmicky cards from the deck. Maybe Dark Arm Dragon is searchable. Chinzo, I believe, also. Not sure. Yeah, I think so. Dark Machine, right? Level 6. So it does have some play. I'm looking forward to that when we actually get that in a DCG. Um, okay, yeah. As you see, I, I'm playing Crossout. The thing is, though, is that one hand trap and your whole combo is nuked. <laughs> Let's face it. In the, your Twilight, for example, it get, immediately gets destroyed by Ash Blossom. So... I don't really like running Crossout because, again, we don't know when we are getting it in the TCG. But for this, I make an exception <laughs> because I need, the, um, you know, like more Call by the Grave. Essentially, if Call by the Grave is at three, you're definitely slapping it in here because of that. Um, so I'm looking at Nibiru. I'm looking at Ash Blossom, Gamma to some extent, you know. So this is, I guess, cool. The Link Five is decent, but the problem is, is, the, is it? Uh, everything that targets, um, get rid of it. So impermanence, um, unicorn, for example. In this case, a Celebrant Great Link three, you know, lowering its attack. So those are all options, right? Um, okay, you could. Uh, well, I was about to say to have some form of negation. It does negate like a monster reborn like effect. You know the the what is it called? Uh, uh, the Jaguar, Jack Jaguar. You know, just keep it in the graveyard. But that that's it. That's it. Uh, mm, you know, for it being such a big investment, it it hardly feels worth it, right? Who knows? And <laughs> yeah, who knows? Karibo uh, might? Nah, probably not. But 
I mean, imagine them getting like um, a, a Link 5. A Link 5 only being made with five different quote unquote curry or you know curry monsters you know which one i mean or which monsters i mean right all of the level ones uh link five curry bra whatever and give it like a, like a masterpiece alike effect or whatever probably not <laughs> wishful thinking so uh it's a big investment here other options maybe appalooza access code talker is there if you're going second for the potential otk and link upgrades with the nightmare so it, with this or with this strategy, I feel it kind of feels the same like Ojamas. You know, Ojamas on their own are quite weak. They don't really do anything. You have Ojama red, black, uh, green, yellow. Um, uh, or um, which one did I? Black, green, yellow. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, red also and blue. Yeah, is that um, okay? They're basically used for fusion summons sometimes, but mainly link upgrades. And I kind kind of feel like the same with this, but. This is, of course, I feel a, a much bigger investment. Um, this is cool, though, is the, the multiply. The, the, especially in link format, this feels strong. I believe the tokens cannot be tributed for a tribute summon, but, you know, you can just use them for, <laughs> for like, a, a, the link rebo and then, you know, tribute link rebo, right? So that's how it is. I opt to go for this particular setup. So leaving one uh, token, I guess, for the Link Karibo in the graveyard. There is the Appalooza for the couple of uh, monster effect negations. And, and uh, Lyrisk indeed is going to bounce back the card. So that's cool. Again, every time your opponent special summons a monster, bounce it back to the hand, I believe, up to two. Yeah, because of two materials. But uh, at the same time, the one of normal summon that, you know, Link Rebo will just give me the extra protection needed for both Appaloos and the Lyrical Scrum. Uh, Prosperity, I believe, is needed to, you know, dig for your power cards, mainly, especially the, the opening turn, uh, digging for the Twilight, that, that powerful spell for the archetype, right? Curry Babylon, on the other hand, also has that nifty effect, as, you, you know, I, I don't think I have used it in the replays here, but the next one will have it, is that it does have the capability to special summon itself, but if I'm not mistaken, your graveyard needs to contain more monsters compared to your opponent's graveyard. So going first, that's not that hard, but going second, that's not really the case. And then you could use its tribute effect, as in take it back from the field to the hand, and then special summon your all of your Karibo monsters. Uh, sadly, not from the deck, but only from grave and hand, I believe. Imagine that from deck also... Um, you know, the spell does that, but the spell is not searchable. Yeah, here. Uh, and that's why Almirage is in there, because, and that's something I haven't mentioned yet, is the big downside or letdown of Twilight. The spell is that you can't control any other monsters. So you need at least one monster, because, well, in this case, right? Because I needed to special summon a level 5, being the uh, uh, the Karibo, the level 5 one, uh, and Babylon, and then, you know, tribute itself, Almirage, to <laughs> make itself one monster on the field. So that, that's a small bummer. Um, King Cabio, I believe I had like two or three in the main deck. It's an excellent follow-up, and it does give this deck like, like like some more body, some you know some some bigger place. Even though this again feels quite underwhelming, right? Only Cerberus for the pop, and uh, draw multiply. Okay, that's not that bad. But uh, Appalooza now is a, you know a sitting deck. Maybe one monster negation, and then maybe a stronger normal summon can just attack over it. Um, yeah. That's the problem. I do negate the effect of, um, what's it called, the e, at least the hero fusion, right? Um, but now, again, it's not looking too great. Uh, a potential Karibo draw could have been good, but you see my extra deck is running really low. I believe I have a potential Zeus package ready to be played, and that's basically it. I believe Access Code Talker is still there, and um, let me think, I believe Link Spider is the last one, so... Not much, especially, and there it is, right? Another King Cabio to potentially reborn Karibo, so Multiply is an option, but again, there, there is just no follow-up play after that. I don't think I can go for Access Code Talker, because again, I'm lacking the, 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 the links in my extra deck, and as you saw in the profile, I now I am running the Downward Magician in the extra deck because of this. It's, it just gives the Zeus an extra material, the fourth material, for an, yeah, pretty much for an extra nuke during your opponent's turn. And if I had that here, um, the game definitely would have, you know, prolonged, right? Definitely would have still been in a duel, but not the case now. Um, again, the board wipe definitely could have helped out, since again, that Cyclone, what is it going to do? Nothing, really. Not sure about my next draw is. I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, 
it doesn't really matter because the OTK is lurking here. Um, I mean, the new support is cool. The, obviously, this is not something too top tier, but I definitely want to try out maybe another route. Maybe go for like rank 5 Cyber Dragons. Uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity is also there. Maybe more Zeus options. Um, oh, Oh, it, is, it, it feels quite difficult. Artifacts are some, are some free level 5s as well. It, it definitely needs more exploring. So again, like always, feel free to leave suggestions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.